Mid Journey has just released version 6, and now you can get out there and start creating some images. As you can see from the images on screen here, the quality is definitely a big step up and a massive improvement from what we've had in the past, but this time we have the ability to add text into our images. Although it can be a little hit and miss, I've been able to get some texture shop pretty accurately in mind. They do recommend that you write your text in quotations and using style raw or lower stylized values can actually help a fair bit. Now, the improved UPS scales are available too. At the moment, they only increase by 2x. They have both a subtle and creative mode, which will change how much the images are actually altered when upscaling. You can see here I've actually put an example on the screen to compare subtle and creative when compared to the original, so you get a bit of an idea as to what the difference is. Although I must say, it's not a huge difference, but still, I think the creative upscale tends to further develop certain things. So far, that's my favourite. Like I said, it's a 2x upscale, so this image being 1024 with its original upscale is now 2048 by 2048. Now, this is still just the early days. This is not what version 6 is actually going to end up at. They're actually still refining and changing it, so there's still a few things to come and a few more improvements to make. At the moment, you can see the following features are available. Aspect Ratio Chaos, Weird Tile Stylize, Style Raw, as well as your very own Remix Blend and Describe, but just the version 5 version of Describe. These are all currently available in version 6. However, at the moment, you cannot use things like Pan, Zoom, or VAR Region or Tune. However, there is a new V6 version of Describe coming, it's just not available yet. Prompting with version 6 is different than version 5, and they've been quoted as saying that you will need to relearn how to prompt. It's much more sensitive to your prompt, so using words such as award-winning or 4K or 8K are probably best avoided because they may have a negative impact on the overall image. If you want something more photographic or less opinionated, then you should probably go and use Style Raw. Also, lower values of stylize may have better prompt understanding, while higher values may have better aesthetics. But at the end of the day, this is the alpha release. This is not the final release, so there's still a lot of changing to do. But let's check out a few comparisons between version 5.2 and this version 6 alpha release. We've got a beautiful waterfall in nature, and you can see the detail in the trees looking way more realistic. Even the way the light hits the leaves on the left, and the water looks like actual water. The rocks just have a more lifelike appearance, and are a little bit more true to reality. So, you can tell I've done a lot of work in trying to make their photorealistic images actually look like photorealistic images. A woman's face and this is a little bit different this is where I guess things are changing because on the left I simply put that in and got a more photographic image whereas on the right it looks more like a painting and they all turned out with that difference so this is where the opinionated nature of version 6 does change things a bit and I would probably need to go to style raw if I want to get a photo of a woman's face the samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji now, once again, more of a photo on the left, a little bit more artistic on the right. One thing I noticed, though, after doing so much of this prompt for style videos in the past, is that he's actually holding his sword properly to a degree. The only difference is he's got a whole bunch of other things coming out of his back there. But stylistically, I don't think there's much of an improvement, just a difference here. A crowded city street now, version 5 streets look good, but they all look a little too symmetrical, whereas the one on the right for version 6 again looks like a legitimate photograph. It really looks like I could show that to someone, and they would have no idea it was created with AI. They might say the same on the left, but it's just a little bit more detached from that artificial look on the right. The Incredible Hulk always looked great with version 5. With version 6, the veins that are coming out of his neck and his muscles and the details in his skin, it is a massive step up in regards to quality. I never thought it could really go too much further being AI, but it really has added so much detail to the photo of the Incredible Hulk on the right.
So why don't you give version 6 a go? The way that it works is simply to go to a settings in Discord and you can choose it from the drop down. And of course, you can also simply add to your prompt DV space 6 and you will render your prompt using version 6.